What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I've been showing, showing Chicago a lot on my channel. You know, so much so that some people, I guess what the way I'm making the titles on these videos, like Chicago has the most beautiful downtown in the world, is some people like, yo, thank you for highlighting my city. Where are you from? And they don't know I'm from Chicago too, born and raised, right? The reason why I'm highlighting Chicago is that a lot of individuals don't know how much, how much of a great city Chicago is. They only, we are known for Chief Keefe and Old Block and violence worldwide. More than we're known for the Magnificent Mile, Millennium Park, um, you know, all these different great staples of the city, the great food we have here. Chicago probably got the best downtown in the United States of America. Now, I haven't been in New York's downtown area, Times Square, whatever. I haven't been there. But I've heard that people say Chicago's is much cleaner, right? They say it's much cleaner. They say that, um, hold on one second, you all. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. I got interrupted with a uh, phone call real quick. But anyway, yeah. Um, I've never been in New York, but I've heard that Chicago has a cleaner downtown in New York. Um, it's a very clean city in general. Not just like, in general, it's a very, very clean city. Uh, downtown, excellent with beautiful sights. Um, it's a lot to do in Chicago. It's a lot of different activities. People don't even know Chicago has beaches because they just associate us with being cold and they think it's cold all year round. There are people who don't even know that Chicago has a hot summer. We experience all four seasons here. You know what I mean? And so I feel like because I I I don't think the world knows about the beauty of Chicago, it is a must that I show it. And I, I, it's great to diversify the channel as well. But Chicago has a rich history here. There's a lot of movies that have been shot here. Because, like, y'all seen me on an architectural boat tour on my channel. I saw, like, all the great structures that we have built here. Downtown Chicago is lit up during Christmas time. Christmas trees all over the place. Y'all have seen some of that from the videos I've shared the other day. Um, yeah, man, I just think that the beauty, the city's beauty is not shown the way it should be because people don't even know how beautiful it really is. There are people who don't even know Chicago is the third largest city in America because we're just associated with violence. We're associated with old block. Uh, we're associated with, you know, drill music and only that. They don't know about the great food we have here. Not just deep dish pizza from all like we got all different type of foods from the jerk chicken to the different cultures of food we got here. We got all these different type of like, you know, just even staples. The Harold's chicken that, you know, your boy love, love, right? The mild sauce here. People love the Garrett's popcorn. People like, not even just that, it's just a whole lot of different foods that you can try all throughout the city. Um, you know, and, and I, I think about the fact that people think that, oh, it's nothing to see in Chicago. Like, people that really think that. Like, what? What? I've been living in Chicago all my life, outside of the years I went to college and grad school. There are still things in Chicago I haven't yet to see. I have yet to see. Believe it or not, I've never been on that sky deck. That, that people uh, go to in the Willis Tower. I've never been on that. Been in there. Never been on that little ledge part. Never done that. It's certain places I've just never have ever seen yet. Or ever, things I've have never I've yet to experience. And it's so much to do here. Like if you was doing a date night in Chicago. Oh my God. The options are, are endless. Things like the Shedd Aquarium. You have two main. Two humongous libraries. I mean not libraries. Two humongous museums. Museum of Science and Industry in the Field Museum. Museum of Science, Science and Industry is in the historic Hyde Park neighborhood. And then you have the museum, uh, the Field Museum, which is downtown, right? Um, these different rich areas that, that like have you have you can see affluent black people in certain areas like Hyde Park in Beverly. You can see uh, affluent people of different nationalities in different neighborhoods. Now, we are a segregated city, meaning that but for the most part, black people live with black folks, white people live with white people, Asians live with Asians, Hispanics live with Hispanics, etc. right? That exists here in Chicago. But it's just so beautiful, man. So beautiful. And I feel like as a Chicago native and resident, it's my job to show that off so that people will want to come here. There's so many people when I post these things, people are like, yo, I didn't know Chicago had this. I have to come see it. And I'm like, yo, yeah, come check it out. Don't let the news like scare y'all from coming here. A lot of the violence that happens here 
it's really concentrated in certain areas and it's targeted people that are going at it with each other. People think if you step outside in Chicago, as soon as you step outside, you might get shot. Gunshots might be coming over your head. That's how people think. And this is not the case here, right? I lived there all my life and I had some wonderful memories here. Memories of me being on uh, King Drive watching the Bud Billiken Parade. The black, the largest black parade in America. The back to school parade, the Bud Billiken Parade. Love it. Love it. Grew up going there and, and watching the parade and hoping to see celebrities there, right? Um, going all through the South Side from the low end, all my people concentrated on the South Side, you know? So my people in them was from the, the, the 16 story Robert Taylor project housings, houses that don't, they don't, they're no longer standing to that today. But they once were, you know, and my people came from there and was all across the south side of Chicago going to see different exciting parts of the city. Even on, on the south side, seeing beautiful parts. Hyde Park is the south side of Chicago, you know, and it's filled with beauty. We got two, we got two major baseball teams here. The White Sox, the Chicago Cubs, the Chicago Bulls, Chicago Blackhawks, hockey, Chicago Bears. Beautiful Soldier Field. All these different, like, it's a sports town, man, with rich history. Go to Wrigleyville, right by uh, Wrigley Field. Go to the bars, watch the games, sit on rooftops, watch the Chicago Cubs play. Right in Wrigley, in Wrigley Field, man. So, yeah, I just think we, we have a history that people don't talk about, and, and, and it's a city that people don't often brag about. You would think that. The L.A. downtown and Miami downtown area is better than Chicago's when it's not even close. It's not even close. Not even close. From what I've heard, L.A. downtown like Skid Row. Chicago joint? Man, listen. What? Chicago, ride down Lakeshore Drive. Riding down Lakeshore Drive, man, it's beautiful. Whether it's at night or in the morning or in the afternoon or evening. But that Lakeshore Drive ride, listen, if you on a date and you riding down Lakeshore Drive with your lady, oh my gosh, she gonna fall in love right there. Take a woman downtown Chicago and go in a, in a hotel room and y'all put up in a hotel, she gonna fall in love just from looking at that skyline. She's gonna fall in love, I'm telling you. If you got the right amount of uh, romanticism, if you, if you the right type of romantic, and you got great conversation, you're charismatic, you're charming, you 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 chivalrous. Take her on a nice date. Y'all eat some good food. Y'all have a good time. Have a good outing. Good experience. She come back to the hotel room and see that skyline, brother. What's the opening song on Trey Song's Ready album? Panty dropper. It's over with. Take the L out of lover. It's over. <laughs> it's over. That's how great Chicago is, man. And you know that's why I don't I don't think people really know it. Because we're glorified, we're glorified for violence. And I believe that shit started with Barack Obama got in office too. Like, oh my God, what about Chicago? It was a talking point for people to deflect about uh, that, about the issues that black people were talking about, like police brutality and all of that. What about Chicago? Well, Chicago ain't even a murder capital of America. City is so large that that those like, it, more violence was actually happening in the nineties. It was more murders in the nineties than it is today. 600 something murders. You know, it was 900 something murders in Chicago in the 90s. Ben Wilson got killed. Uh, was it the 80s? When he got killed, he was like the 900 murder that year. Seriously. Right? So, yeah, man. I don't think people understand, man. Chicago is not just this violent hub 24 7. It's just all violent. You come outside, you're going to get shot, you're going to get killed. Like, no. That's not the case, man. But people will have you believe that. They have, have you believe that if you come to Chicago, your bullet's going to be flying over you and you might not make it out. Like, come on, y'all. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. Come explore Chicago. Come see it for yourself. Go see all these different uh, uh, monuments. Go to the uh, planetarium. Go to all these. You know, it's just, it's a lot to do, man. I'll go on and on. But I'm going to keep uh, exploring Chicago and show you these things. So that you can be aware of what's here for you to see. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.